Hello, thank you for tuning in. My name is LaTori and today I'm going to be doing a Sephora haul. If you are interested in seeing what I got, then stay tuned. During the VIB sale, I picked up three fragrances and some skincare items that I've been wanting to try, so that's what I'm going to share. Um, I picked up everything in a travel size because they are all new to me and I didn't want to commit to a full size item and it not work for my skin or I didn't like the scent because all of the fragrances were blind buys. So I'm going to get right into the first skincare item and it is from Dermalogica and it came in this box and it is called the Power Cleanse Duo and the duo consists of their pre-cleanse oil and the daily microfoliant. And like I mentioned, these are travel sizes, but I have been using this or these two things for about three or four weeks now, and I'm just barely halfway through. So I have been able to use them enough to know that I really love them. And I will be picking up the full size bottles. Um, the pre cleanse, like I said, it's an oil and it doesn't have a fragrance like a perfume fragrance but but it does have a scent it smells strangely enough it almost smells like kerosene or like an oil that you would use to like burn something but it's not like a fragrance like they added a fragrance to mask the smell of the products um i have sensitive skin and it hasn't bothered me and I really, really like this. I actually was not interested in trying the pre-cleanse. It wasn't really on my radar. I The item that I wanted to try was the Daily Microfoliant because I had heard so many great things about it. And this is what I initially was going to pick up, but you know how when you're shopping on Sephora's website, they suggest other items that you should try. And I noticed that they had this duo for, um, I think two or $3 more than just the trial size of the microfoliant so I figured you know why not try it and I surprisingly like this more than the microfoliant um, I've never used an oil cleanser before because my skin tends to run a little oily and this actually helps cut the oil a lot um, so I've been using this as like a double cleanse a double cleanser um, or as a part of my double cleanse process so I start with this and what you do is you put the um, the pre cleanser oil in your hand and you lather it on your face and after you have it on your face then you go back and you add water and you work it into your skin and it works really really well um, my skin feels clean but it doesn't feel stripped it feels very moisturized This is the first time that I've tried double cleansing and I really like it. I feel like I've noticed my skin improving ever since I've been doing this. So I'm definitely going to get the two of these in the full size bottles. Um, these are small sizes. They are both one fluid ounce. No, this is one fluid ounce and this is 0.45 ounces. And I've been using them for about a month now and I still have more than half um, in each bottle and I've used them every day during my morning skincare routine and I can't say enough good things about this I would definitely recommend you trying this I have sensitive skin and it hasn't irritated my face at all the microfoliant is not harsh it's perfect for using every day and I would definitely try them um, Dermalogica products if you are someone that is into skincare, you know that Dermalogica products can be a little bit on the pricey side. So I would definitely recommend picking up the smaller trial size um, items so that you can try them out before committing to a $60 or $70 product and then it doesn't work well for your skin. So I would highly recommend both of these. And keeping with the skincare items, I picked up two serums from The Ordinary and I got the AHA and BHA peeling solution and the caffeine solution. So the caffeine solution, I haven't tried yet, so I can't really speak to its performance, but the purpose is to 
help um, like reduce puffiness and things like that under your eyes. And I do not sleep. I am a night owl and I stay up all night every night with the knowledge that I have to wake up every morning for work and it's just like a vicious cycle at this point. So I don't get the rest that I need, which causes me to get, you know, puffiness under my eyes. And so I picked this up to see if this would help with um, reducing some of the, the puffiness or the inflammation. And I don't know why I've imagined a caffeine solution would smell like coffee, but it doesn't. I'm slightly disappointed, even though I don't like to use things with fragrance on my, on my face, but I don't know why I just had coffee in mind when I picked this up. Um, but the product says that, or its intention is to reduce the appearance of eye contour, pigmentation, and of puffiness. So I'm definitely excited to try this. I will probably do a review after I've had um, the chance to use it a few times to see if I've noticed a difference. The other Ordinary product or product from The Ordinary is the AHA and BHA peeling solution. And this is supposed to be a 10 minute exfoliating facial and it does consist of direct acids. And this I have tried twice already and I love it. It works very well. Um, it is something that you cannot use too often, that you can't use too often because as the packaging suggests or states, it does contain direct acids. So it's not something that is intended for everyday use because that would just be way too harsh on your skin. And this is what it looks like. The color is very strange. And even when you put it on your face, it looks very strange. It almost looks like blood, but it works very, very well. Um, the first, or I've used it twice now, and each time there is like a stinging sensation um, when you apply the product, but I feel like that's to be expected because it does contain two acids. And the purpose of this is just to exfoliate the skin and it helps um, reduce the appearance of pores and it helps with evening out your skin tone and all of the other things that exfoliating um, is supposed to do. And I noticed that the first day that I tried this, um, my skin did feel a little dry afterwards. And so I just moisturized as normal and the following days, it was like a slow glowing process. Like the, the day after, like my skin looked better, but it was just like nothing to write home about. But like the days after that, I did notice that my skin appeared to be brighter and I really, really enjoyed how it looked. So I just actually tried it earlier today or used it again earlier today for the second time. And so I'm going to expect Based on my previous results, in like two to three days, my skin will be like glowy and look just much more clear. And I am very excited to have this product. Also, these should, well, I haven't used the caffeine solution, so I can't really talk about that. But I feel like this should be much more expensive than it actually is. I'm pretty sure I did not pay more than $10 for this. And it's a um, one fluid ounce bottle. Most of the ordinary products I did notice are in smaller bottles, but because they are serums and they are not intended for everyday use, I think one fluid ounce is fine, especially for the price and the potency. So I would highly recommend this. The next skincare item that I picked up is from Peter Thomas Roth, and it is the anti-aging cleansing gel. And this is another item that I have not tried yet, only because I picked up so many other things. I didn't want to start using them all at once. And if I did have an adverse reaction to something, not know or not be able to pinpoint which item it was exactly that was causing the problem. So I've been slowly introducing each of these things into my daily routine. And this just hasn't been one of the things that I've tried yet, but once I have, I will be back with a review. Um, but this is the anti-aging cleansing gel. 
and it says that it helps visibly brighten with glycolic acid and fruit extracts for all skin types. Um, so this, well, well, this is a two fluid ounce bottle and I love Peter Thomas Roth. That is one of my favorite skincare brands. So I would imagine that this is something that I am going to enjoy and I am excited to try this. In keeping with products from Peter Thomas Roth, I picked up a gift set that contained four of their most popular masks. And I was probably the most excited about that item because I've been wanting to try their masks for a while now. And I just felt like it was the perfect time to try them out because if I leave home, I'm wearing a face mask. Um, so, you know, if it messed something up, I could cover it with the face mask and if it worked well, then, you know, it worked well. So I felt like this is the perfect time to try skincare because when we go outside, we have to cover our face anyways. So I would recommend if there are any things on your list that you've been wanting to try, try them now. Um, so the gift set included four different masks and I have the cucumber gel mask, which is supposed to be an extreme detox hydrator and the next one is the 24 karat gold mask which is supposed to provide a luxury lift and it's supposed to be firming and so these two i have not tried yet because of the reasons that i mentioned earlier i really haven't had a need to try these two yet the other two that i'm going to talk about in a minute are the ones that i wanted the most because i've heard the most good things about them um, I really, this is the second detox mask that is included in the, the gift set and the other one was the one that I heard worked really well so I just went with that first and I really don't have issues yet with needing things lifted and firmed or lift, whatever. I just didn't feel like I needed to try this one yet. None of the masks, well... Yeah. this one it doesn't have a scent this one smells like it has mint or menthol or something of the sort in here I'm not really sure what's causing that but it doesn't it's not so much a fragrance as it is, it smells like something in there is like minty. I don't know what that's about. Um, this is the pumpkin enzyme mask and it is supposed to be an enzymatic dermal resurfacer and it is a three-in-one product and it is supposed to be an intensive skin resurfacer mask that exfoliates with pumpkin enzyme and peels with AHA and polishes with aluminum oxide to help reveal skin that looks smoother, younger, radiant, and revitalized. And it does all of those things. I love this mask so much. This one does have a scent, but it be is because it smells like pumpkin. It smells exactly like pumpkin and it's very refreshing. I'm not someone that loves pumpkin things pumpkin flavored things, pumpkin scented things, but this is not like overpowering or overwhelming. It's kind of like relaxing and calming just because it's like such a familiar scent. And I definitely noticed that my skin did look brighter. It looked revitalized after trying this. Um, like the, um, the peel from The Ordinary, it's not something that happens instantly, but like the the days following um, after you use this mask, you will notice that your skin looks brighter and more clear and I really love that. This works also very well for um, fading dark spots because of that pumpkin enzyme. So this is something that I'm trying to figure out how to work into my routine with balancing the, um, the peel and the mask. They both contain an AHA or they both contain AHA and I don't want to overdo it with the acids just because I don't want to 
cause any unnecessary harm or sensitivity to my skin. And so I'm trying to find the right balance with using the, the two of them. So for what I've been doing is I will start the week off with using this and about three or four days later, I will do the mask and I'll just cycle it like that. So every three to four days, I'm alternating between the two. And so far that has been working for me. Um, with any product that contains an AHA, you wanna be sure to use your sunscreen daily because you would be just defeating the purpose of using something to brighten your skin and then not protecting it from the sun and causing your hyperpigmentation to worsen. So you definitely want to protect your skin from the sun more than ever when you are using products with AHA. The last mask that was included in the gift set is the Irish Moor Mud Purifying Black Mask. And this is what it looks like. And I don't think I mentioned it before, but all of these um, containers are um, 1.7 fluid ounces. And a little goes a long way with all of these. I've used this um, black mud mask probably four or five times already. And I still have more than half of the jar. I'm definitely going to pick up the full size of um, this one and the pumpkin enzyme mask. Um, I'm not sure if I will pick up the full size of the other two just because I haven't tried them yet. But this is my favorite detox mask that I've ever used. I'm a big fan of detox masks. Um, my other go-to before having this was the um, mask, with the bentonite clay that I would mix with apple cider vinegar. And that works very well, but it is extremely drying. This is the most moisturizing mask that I've ever used, hands down, period. Like, it leaves your skin feeling so moisturized after, but it feels like it has been detoxed. So I feel like this is super effective. It's very moisturizing. So I think this would be great for all skin types, and I would highly recommend it. Um, this one, it says the purpose is to be purifying, refining, decongesting, and... A bunch of other things it says that the main thing is to minimize the look of pores fine lines and wrinkles and it does say that it's for all skin types so i would definitely agree that it does all of the things here that it lists um and i would definitely if i had to suggest of any of the masks here i would definitely suggest that you try this one because i can't imagine anyone having issues with this. It's not harsh, it does not have a scent or anything like that, and it just works very well. Now I am going to transition into the three fragrances that I picked up. They actually came in this gift set together, and they are three of the replica scents by Margiela. And the three that I have are Jazz Club, Whispers in the Library, and By the Fireplace. Um, so I am not going to go super in-depth into these three fragrances because I want to do a full review of these items by themselves because they deserve, because they are amazing. I would recommend all three of these scents. Um, they all just smell very good, very cozy. All three of these are perfect for the fall, winter, colder months. Um, just because they all are super warm and cozy and I don't really know how to explain them without going into full detail, but I would highly recommend picking these up. So when shopping the VIB sale, I knew that I was going to be picking up a fragrance and my intention was actually to pick up, um, by the fireplace, the full size bottle but I've never smelled it in person. I read the notes online and I, it just seemed like something that I would like. And when I was on the website, they suggested this gift trio or this gift set trio. And I thought about it and I just felt like it made more sense to pick this up because it would be a blind buy. So this would give me the opportunity to try three new scents instead of committing to one full size scent that I may or may not have liked. Um, if I would have gotten the full size, I would have been happy because By the Fireplace smells amazing, 
but I'm so much more happy that I did decide to get this trio because By the Fireplace is actually not my favorite of the three and I would not have expected that by reading the notes on the website. Um, the one that I like the most is actually Jazz Club. I believe all of the replica scents are marketed as unisex and that is definitely true of these three. And of the three, I would say that Jazz Club is the most masculine, but it's not like a manly scent at all. It just smells good. This line of scents is called Replica because it's supposed to remind you of a moment in time at a specific place. And that is exactly what Fireplace or By the Fireplace does. I have never been to a Jazz Club, but if this is what it smells like, sign me up point me in that direction because this smells so good it's very smoky and warm and with the even though it's smoky it still has like a freshness to it and i love that i think this is perfect for the holidays whispers in the library is the perfect name for this scent because it is very subtle so it's reminiscent of a whisper i'm not getting by the library just because i feel like books have a very distinctive smell especially older books and it doesn't smell like that thankfully i don't mind the smell of old books but that's not that's not what i'm getting this i would say is I don't know how to describe this. It's subtle, but potent. Like all of these last for a very long time. They are not scents that are like out there or in your face or offensive, but you definitely notice them. I wouldn't quite call them skin scents because they are scents that permeate, but they aren't overbearing or overpowering in any way. Now this, um, By the Fireplace, I was reading the reviews and someone mentioned that it smelled like um, Marshmallow Fireside from Bath & Body Works, The Candle. And I don't know if you've noticed in the background of any of my videos, but Marshmallow Fireside is like, that's my thing. I have Marshmallow Fireside candles all throughout my house and I love the smell. It's like sweet, it's smoky, but it's not like too much. This. I would say, I get why they would say that, but this is definitely not as sweet. This is much more mature. It's much more smoky, but it is like in the family of Marshmallow Fireside, but this is definitely much better. It smells very expensive. It smells very luxurious. It's the, all of these, um, of all of these three fragrances, they have like a smokiness to them that is so beautiful. And I would highly recommend. I want the full size of all of these. <laughs> Honestly, I think I'm going to start with um, By the Fireside and Jazz Club. And yeah, I would definitely recommend. They have another trio, or well, they have a few different gift sets of the replica line. They have some that have the like the tiny, I'm not sure the size, but they're like six of the different fragrances. And then they have another with like the lighter replica scents. Um, like I know one is like Lazy Sunday or Sunday morning, something like that. One is about the beach or water. I don't remember the names, I'll insert a picture, but I'm going to try that gift set next because I love these. I feel like these are fragrances that I will probably keep in my collection forever. And I am excited to continue to have this. 